Welcome. It's time for the toolbar. All right, so now we're going to see how we're going to get stuff up in, into the toolbar here. Um, so how do we do it in XML, and then how do we uh, how do we refer to it and listen for uh, menu item clicks uh, in code? All right. So right now I see that the only thing that I have in my app is just the little uh, the little overflow menu here, which is for settings. All right. So um, so first of all, a little little bit of background about this. So what we're actually looking at at the top of the screen is is what's called the app bar, uh, and here's an example of one right right here for Google Sheets. Uh, You've seen these before, um, so they're, they're, Google is, is using them pretty widely, um, not just in Android, but also in their web stuff. Um, so this guy right here is, is for navigation, right? So if you click on it, it opens up a little navigation drawer layout. Um, so it kind of pops out of the left-hand side. Uh, you know, you, it, you can put brand information here. So if you add an icon or something like that, that, that would go up here, um, tells where you are, and then up a different actions. So this is obviously a search icon, and then, um, that's right here for, for file, and then there's probably other stuff inside our overflow uh, menu right now. So it's all about sort of navigation and key access to, to, um, to actions that you might need. Um, so the, this, the area is called the app bar. Um, what it actually is in code these days uh, is a toolbar, used to be called the action bar. All right, so how do you create one of these menus? Um, well, first of all, you're going to do it inside uh, this this callback here, this this on create options menu, um, and there's two ways to do it. You can either do it in resources or code. Um, you obviously know which which I'm going to uh, prefer here, just because I'm all view controller. Um, we want to do as much of the view stuff in in, uh, in XML as we can. So we're going to use an, a menu inflator here, and we're going to ask it to inflate this resource. It's kind of like the set content main that we that we did at the at the beginning of on create. Um, but we have to explicitly tell it to, um, to do it and to stick it in the menu that's passed in. Um, true just means that, you, that it successfully worked. Uh, if you were going to do this programmatically, um, not the end of the world. Um, you can certainly, you can make menu items right here and you can add, uh, and they have little uh, methods that, that let you customize the different menu items there. They're pretty simple, so, so this isn't a horrible solution, uh, just not quite as clean as far as MVC goes. All right, so here's an example, another example from, from Google. Uh, so this is a, a little bit more complicated one. Uh, so they have an item right here. Um, you see that, it, that a menu in XML um, can have a bunch of things in it. It can have items or groups of items. Um, so you see right there. Um, so we have, we have one item with an icon. Uh, and then this group has a couple of items in it. Um, and you could probably set, uh, these are often done for like radio buttons or anything so that one thing can be selected. Uh, and then here we have an, uh, a menu that has an item that has a menu that has an item within it. And that's, that's just uh, nested menus and everything are, are just submenus. Uh, sometimes I use them, but, but not a big deal. You uh, look them up uh, once you're familiar with how to use basic ones. All right. So what we'd like to do is to, to get that first uh, first icon up, which is the 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 reset or revert to to um to make our, our screen uh, the current item go uh, go back to sort of nothing to the default item. Um. So we'll we'll note these a little bit more. Oops. A little bit more carefully here. Uh. Excuse me. Go back. Uh. So every item that we have here basically has four different things. Uh, so we have an ID so that we can refer to it in code. Uh, we have an order in the category. Uh, it will take, in, in the case of a tie, it will just put them in the order that you have them in here. So if you really care about order and you want to be um, careful about that, you can, you can set the order. Uh, it's going to be a title, which is going to be a string. Um, and then, then it's going to be whether you want to show it as an action. But this is the one that we get for free. This is the, the settings one. We don't really want that to ever show up uh, at the, the high level. We want it to show up in the overflow, the, the, the ellipse in, in the um, top right corner of the screen. On the other hand, this is the one that we're adding. Um, and we're going to go ahead and give this guy an ID and an icon. We'll use one of the built-ins here for, for reverting. Uh, and then um, we'll give it a title. And the show as action is going to be a little bit different. Um, we want to put it as long as there's room for it. So let's go ahead and, and, and do that in our code. Um, so I'm going into um, into layout, uh, not layout, into menu, menu main, format this guy so it's a little bit easier to see. And then uh, I'm just going to copy and paste the, the item that, that we had to start with. 
uh, and I'll, I'll give it some some values here. So this first guy is going to be, um, we'll just call it the, the reset action order, um, is going to be before the, the settings anyway, uh, because we're going to have it showing if there's room. And we're going to have few enough icons that there always will be room. And then the string for this guy, um, excuse me. String on this guy, I want to be um, just reset, I think is what I called it. All right, looks great. And let's say I think we also want an icon here. So let's go ahead and stick in an icon. And this will be an Android drawable. Um, they named theirs pretty well, so icon. And this is one from the, from the menu, uh, made for the menu, right size and everything. And we'll grab the, the revert one. Sometimes when you hover over these guys, they, they give you a little little previews. I'm not getting one right now. I'm not sure why. Um, all right, uh, looks good. So um, that's that's really all we need to do for, for XML to add items. Uh, piece of cake. As far as what to do in code, there's actually three three callbacks that, that we care about. Um, we saw on create options menu. As you can imagine, that this on option as item selected is um, is like our callback is kind of like an on click. Uh, that we have for buttons. And then there's another one that, that I rarely use and they don't even stub it in for us on prepare options menu. Uh, if you wanted to have the menu, um, they, like the items that it has, be dependent upon some state of your code, then when it's pressed, uh, then they call it actually before displaying the menu um, to make, to make uh, any changes that you want on the fly. Right. So a good thing just to know about. All right, what we want to do, um, first of all, let's look to see what we have um, in ours and go back and jump into main activity. And we'll see that, that basically uh, um, that they do the right thing for us for our on create options menu. So they get the inflator and they inflate menu main. Um, so it, it just works pretty much right out of the box. Um, and then for the options item selection selected here, um, we get an, an ID. So we're actually being passed in at the item that was clicked and what we care about, we're going to identify them by ID. So we'll grab the ID, and then we can just check to see which which of the ones it was the, that's that's in our menu. Now, what I will usually do here um, is is if I have you know if I if I have a, a few different menu items, which we're going to end up with three or four, uh, is to put in a, a switch statement. I think it just just kind of gives it a nice nice clean uh, look to the code. Um, and while we're at it, I'm going to do a couple things here. So so this. Uh, just for your, for your records, as far as what we're gonna do in a reset, I'm just gonna make a new item and then reshow the current item. And then for action settings, um, we're gonna go ahead and, and start an activity here. We haven't done much with intents yet, uh, but this is, is this is the code that you need uh, to launch the system settings. All right, so back in our code, let's go ahead and make these, these changes. So first thing, like I said, I'm gonna change to a switch and I'm gonna switch off that same uh, item ID. And don't need that guy anymore. And then I'll have a couple of, of cases. All right, so the first um, case is gonna be uh, if it is um, my, my reset button. Um, so that's this guy right here. And what we will have it do, like we said, is, is reset the current item uh, to be um, just a new item. And then I'm gonna show, show that item on the screen. And then I can return out of these guys. So, so you'll notice here that, that for settings, it just returned true. Returning true just says that I successfully um, handled the item and I don't need to pass it on any further. Uh, so what else we got? Um, second one, second case. And of course, if, if I return, then I don't have to put a break in my, uh, in my switch either. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the, the settings. And for the settings, we're also going to want to return true here eventually, but be, um, before we do that, uh, we're going to start a new activity and we have to pass in an intent. So we'll talk more about those uh, in our in a little bit later unit. Um, but let's see, so I'm going to do settings dot action settings like so. And just to see what what would like what you can get with one line of code. It's kind of cool. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about the, the rest of these guys. The default on this is to return this guy. So if, if I wanted to make that explicit, uh, go ahead and, and do that. 
looks good. Um, I suggest we run our code and see what we get. All right, so uh, it, it launched here uh, finally. Um, hope you don't, don't mind me cutting out all the, all the time that it takes to, to, uh, to, to launch my emulator. Uh, I didn't think you would. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and see what we get. Um, so if we hit revert, it goes back to nothing. So plus we'll make one, one of these guys. And revert goes back to nothing. Um, so it looks good. And then if we want to launch the settings, we can try that out, see how that works. And there we go to our settings. Uh, all right, very nice. That's it for this lesson. Uh, see you back for the next time when we do play around with the snack bar.